Now let's continue our example and let's pay the bill to Thomas Kitchen and Bath. Let's come in here into the Vendor Navigator and let's follow the process. Remember, we cut a purchase order, and then we came down here, we received the items with the bill, and now we want to come up here and we're going to pay the bill. Let's click here and let's choose Show All Bills. Let's scroll down here to the bill from Thomas Kitchen and Bath. Let's check this one off and let's click Pay and Close. Next, QuickBooks gives us a choice to either automatically assign based on the next check number that QuickBooks thinks is available or we can use a second choice and tell QuickBooks the check number that we're putting in our printer. Our next check number is 2501. Let's click OK and now let's go look at what we owe to Thomas Kitchen and Bath. You can see now our balance with Thomas Kitchen and Bath is zero because we paid the invoice.